DIB has a very important role, but they cannot you know, work alone. They also require, I think, uh, you know, public banks within each individual country that they can be working with also to steer some of the investments. We need knowledge also within those public institutions. This has often been a problem. There's a self-fulfilling prophecy that the less we believe in the state, the harder it is to attract some of the brightest minds to go work in these institutions. Um, I think the EIB is fundamental, especially in an era that we're living through, which is one of financialization where the private financial uh, institutions, as we know, for the last uh, two decades have been especially funneling money to different types of financial institutions. So finance has been financing finance. <laughs> so actually having financial institutions like the EIB that are really aiming at the real economy, um, I think is absolutely fundamental. Now, you know, how they're gonna do this, how they're gonna be, if you want co-financing with national funds or working also, with the European Central Bank, which some people have been arguing is quite important. So we don't just you know, have money like QE, you know, being created by QE just ending up in the banks, but actually having it a, a bit more directed through uh, you know, serious work with the EIB. Currently, I think having an innovation-led, investment-led investment strategy with the EIB playing a central role is the way that Europe is going to uh, survive.